Did he answer the phone with Andrew? I don't think so. I don't think I'm more worried about coaching. He just tweeted. Appreciate that. It's going to begin soon. He's going to have updates. So. Okay. Well, we can watch on Go Ducks, right? I like it. Mark, I think a week or two ago you said that you guys were still had your best football ahead of you. Uh, usually teams are either getting better or fading away. Do you feel like you're just starting to take off now with Vernon back and, and that really helped out the defense a lot of the way your offense was playing? I think we're definitely, we're definitely playing better in, in phases and then still just need to put the complete thing together. Um, last night, you know, a ton of yards, but not the matching points. You know, part of that is red zone uh, execution, two picks in the, in the end zone will affect that. Field goals affect that. So obviously we want to finish those with touchdowns. Um, and then, you know, there's always errors like we talked about last night, um, whether it's coverage or fits or, or, or tackling that are kind of glossed over in the in the win. And then obviously a ton of special team stuff that, that I mean, it literally is – installation day one type mistakes mm -hmm. that, that that happened last night that uh, can't happen going forward but as a whole a ton of improvement and and need to to stay on that trend mike mark uh last night the players were saying and other coaches were saying they're not satisfied yet they they're still looking for ways to finish drives what exactly do they need to do to finish those drives to be satisfied with the overall product of the game well, you're always kind of chasing perfection, right? If you're, you know, we always talk about chasing better and just how you fit into into the role. Uh, you know, for instance, we we have them third and a hundred, uh, and we get a personal foul. Just you know, ridiculous. Uh, that that if that's a punt, and you know, you you flip it, and it's. 50, 60, you know, you can you can start to kind of get that frenzy going and, and create that momentum. But just of, of doing your job great, you know, playing your role uh, to the to the absolute best of your ability, including the scout team guys, including everybody in, in you know, the, the phases we were just talking about. Uh, to that end, the, the uh, we did not have a, a special teams player of the game. Uh, the special team scout of the of the week was Sean Kilpatrick. Offensive player of the game uh, was was. Uh, two, uh, Tyler Johnstone and Evan Bayless. Our offensive scout of the week was Dylan Kane. Uh, defensive player of the game was DeForest Buckner, and the defensive scout of the week was Morgan Mahalik. With Vernon and his escapability or designed run plays, how much do you feel like that opened up lanes for Royce and the other running backs behind him? A ton. You know, and you have to have the element uh, in a, in our offense that 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 gap has to exist. You know, the defense has to account for that, and and if it's if it's one one false step that becomes an arm tackle for for Royce, or you know, as we saw last night, Kanai, Tony James, Taj, all all get, getting better and better. Um, that that element has to be there. Mike, did you have a question? Yeah. So. With so many so many guys running the ball so well last night, you know, for you know at or almost 100 yards on the ground, what was clicking for them last night? Uh, for the most part, hitting things in the right spot. For the most part, still had a couple things that that uh, had some opportunities to have huge plays that that uh, you know either either didn't press far enough and and bounce too early outside or cut back too early to the backside um all kind of you know growing pain type of things uh and then the, the offensive line you know played played well still not you know great perfect uh but but better and with more confidence uh and and so just again need to to stay on that trend uh in in preparation for stanford rob can you illuminate a little more what you saw from Bayless that you like from him? I, mean, I don't think he had a catch, so what, what did he do so well? He probably had his best blocking game, definitely of this season. I don't know if it's of his of his career um, and just of, of had a couple great finishes that, that sprung runs, um, set the edge several times in, in kind of the, the, the – you know, student body right type of action sweep uh, play. Uh, did, a, did, a, did a really good job setting the, setting the edge. Andrew Greif, do you have a question? I do. Uh, last night, Frost said that the offensive line he thinks is kind of his unsung hero in, in this turnaround. He thinks they played really, really well and consistently. Wondered if you had a position group that you thought has kind of gone under the radar but has played quite well in this three-game turnaround. 
Um, up until last night, I would have said special teams. Um, you know, and and again, the, the the two two blocks were just really really. They're 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 just so easy to to fix. It's it's that you know that's what makes it that much more frustrating. Like we talked about last night, um, uh, but our return game has been really good. Our punt team had been had had been excellent uh, for the most part. Um, our coverage units, um, and then I think everybody else. You know, at times has flashed. Whether it's been the D line, the, the the linebackers, the secondary still still you know improving, um, but everybody's kind of taken their turn. Uh, you know, flashing for the good and flashing for the we need to fix it. Brian, there is. Can you kind of describe what a week of practice and preparations like for Charles to? still getting up to speed with the secondary and obviously doing enough on offense where he is there to make a big play and and I'm not sure what all he does on special teams. So just like right. what all is he doing for you? Yeah, in in general, he's a defensive player in practice and, and special teams. And so um ninety plus percent of the time he's a he's a defensive player and a special teams player. And then, you know, we'll pull him over for a few reps of of one on one, seven on seven as a as an offensive player. And then he just tries to to hook up with Coach Lubick uh when he can, either either uh before meetings, after meetings of 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 Charles is a very smart football player and, and can learn things, even, you know, nuanced stuff, the weekly stuff, um, very quickly. DP said last night that it, he, he thinks that the defense is buying into that to that uh, defensive game plan, that philosophy, that they're more confident. Are you seeing the same thing? Well, definitely, definitely. And, and, and so much of that as a defense, like we've talked about before, it's 11 guys, you know, 11 guys doing their job. Uh, you know, if I'm a defensive lineman, I'm not trying to peek around to do somebody else's job. I've got my pads down and I'm fitting my gap or fitting my, my offensive lineman, whatever, you know, whatever it may be. And, and then last night we got some, some hands on some balls up front. We got some hands on the, on, on the ball in the secondary, made a lot more plays on the ball than, than we have in the past. And that that's, you know, that's contagious just two. Now we need to catch it. Anything else, Andrew? Yeah, I saw Malik Lovett uh, took part in the participation report and missed him on the field, but he showed up in the report. Uh, what led you to decide that was a good one to maybe get rid of that red shirt for him? As impossible it may be to believe, I think the uh, sports information department made a mistake on that. He, he did not participate. Aha. Uh-huh. Andy was too busy pa I guess, it's excellent. There's, I guess, regarding another a young guy. Um, he, obviously, Canton coming to it had so much praise, so much promise, and played pretty well coming back from his injury. At least flashed at times. Mm-hmm. I guess any insight into the last two weeks hasn't seen the field. Um, kind of what's kept him out of that? He was. He's not been available these last two weeks. Brian. DeForest uh, playing with a, a big club hand can, and you know a lot of NFL scouts were here last night. Can you just talk about the season he's having? He's battling. I mean, the guy is, is playing his tail off, and it's one handed. I mean, he, you know how he's done it. He's he's double teamed. He's triple teamed. He's he's you know chunked and chipped on their releases, and and uh, he's just battled. And and I think more so than anything, just been a steadying force in there for a bunch of guys. Um, you know, mentioned Canton of, of just of kind of mentoring all those guys and just being a great example of of the guy hasn't missed a rep of practice. I mean, we take him out of practice to to. to kind of force force a little uh you know healing time and stuff but he uh, you know defo's a rock anything else okay thank you thanks